The simulator allows you to develop and test your project before transferring it to the panel. This is great because you don't even need to have a working PLC to test your project. Once you have something to test, like this project here, you can start the simulator either by clicking on the Simulate button on the File toolbar, going to the File menu and saying Simulation, or just hitting this big Simulate button right here. It asks if you want to save the project. Yes, we do. Builds the project and then pops up the simulator. Two windows appear, the Simulator Control window over here and the Seymour Micro Simulation over here. The control window gives you a behind the scenes view of the project. Here you see a list of the active screens in your project. Looks like we have oh, 17 screens in this project. And you can click on a screen to bring it up in the simulator. The speaker icon enables and disables beeps. The magnifying glass zooms in or out. And the bezel button enables the various bezels. Let's reduce the size of this so we can see those. So each time you click on it, it brings up a different optional keypad bezel depending upon the panel you've chosen. Since the three inch panels have both the numeric keypad entry and the directional arrow bezel, you get those. If this was a six inch panel, you would get his dedicated keypad bezels, one of which is a landscape and one of which is a portrait mode bezel. The four inch panel doesn't have any bezels, so you would only see the basic panel, something like this, and you would also have the option of viewing it with no bezel at all. This tag list shows you every tag being used on the current screen, not in the entire project. For example, if I change screens here, you can see the tag list also changes. Let's bring up a longer list of tags here, if we can find one. There we go. Note that you can sort on any of these columns. You can sort by name, the PLC address, the type of data, or even the value if you want to. The simulation window acts just like a real panel. Let me zoom in so we can see a little better. If you specified a touch screen in your project, then you can click on the objects on the screen and they behave just like you would expect. The function keys and bezel keypad keys all work exactly like you would expect on a real panel. You can even hear the beeps and see the LEDs light up when you press the buttons. Note that on a real panel, to get the setup screen for programming, you have to press both the F1 and the F5 keys at the same time and hold them down for three seconds. Well, that's a little hard to do with a mouse, so the simulator gives you an option. You can right click and say go to setup menu, and that does the exact same thing as holding down F1 and F5 at the same time. The right click menu also allows you to disable beeps, to zoom in, zoom out, and pick which keypad bezel you want to look at. Those right click options do the same thing as these icons over here in the control window. The simulator does such a great job of testing the functionality of the panel, we use it in almost every one of the how-to videos in this series. Well, that's all there is to the simulator. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series. And as always, please send us any topics you would like to see covered, or any other comments for that matter. We appreciate the feedback.